Okay, this is part one of this series of lectures, water pH of buffers. So, skills to master here. After watching this video, you should be able to explain the chemical basis of the polar nature of water. Why is it polar? Tell me. Define pH based on concentration of protons in solution and define its relationship um, in respect to pOH. You should be able to describe the chemical and functional properties of buffers, just at a sort of barely scratching the surface sort of way. And you'll also justify the use of buffers in biochemical reactions. Why do we need to learn about this at all? Okay, so starting off, water is something that you should already be very, very familiar with in terms of its formula and its structure. Okay, so here we go. Formula H2O, chemical structure, OHH, and oxygen has a couple lone pairs on here, doo, 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 because of the number of valence electrons. Um, oxygen prefers two bonds, one, two. These are covalent bonds. What else can I possibly say about this? Oxygen is electronegative. So if you look at the periodic table of the elements, which I'm going to draw my beautiful periodic table as a perfect rectangle, uh, these are, in the far right hand column, are the noble gases like helium, and we totally ignore those, right, because they don't react with anything, that's what makes them normal. Upper left hand corner is hydrogen, here's fluorine. Okay, so this concept of electronegativity, 